And I made an effort every single day to look for one thing that didn't suck. And when you're really down in despair, that's what it is. One thing that doesn't suck. Yeah. It's not the yay yet. Right, Megan, we just recorded an incredible episode on the Mary Moran show where you were walking us through the science behind choosing positivity in a moment by moment basis, how that leads to endless renewable tanks of energy that we can draw from. So everyone, first of all, make sure you head over to the Mary Moran show.com to listen to that full episode. We'll link that below. But for now, Megan, I want to ask you a bonus question over here just for our YouTube subscribers. And that question is going to be, Talk to us a little bit about the last chapter in the book where you specifically address walking through pandemic and these ongoing stretches of hard seasons where we do feel stuck and like we don't have too much choice over our circumstances, our surroundings. Talk about how to embrace positivity in the midst of ongoing hard times. Sure. So the recharge chapter was really initially influenced by the loss of my father to pancreatic cancer. Mm -hmm. Um, he died five years ago last month. Um, and it was really like debilitating. He was my yeah. biggest cheerleader. I had three small kids at the time and I didn't know how to get out of bed. I, I just was done with life. I mean, I really just was struggling. Um, and so in that moment, I undertook something that I called Operation Good Grief. Um, and you can apply Operation Good Grief to any sense of loss, right? So whether it's the loss of a job, a family member, your your health, whatever it is, Operation Good Grief works. And I made an effort every single day to look for one thing that didn't suck. And when you're really down in despair, that's what it is. One thing that doesn't suck. Yeah. It's not the yay yet. You're looking for one positive grain of good in a really tough day. And that can be, you know, really cool foam on your latte. Mm -hmm. It can be a motivational message on a t-shirt. It can be a cute thing your kid says, but one positive in that day. And I documented those things mm -hmm. over the course of two years. Yeah. I would take a Sure, and I would post it on my Instagram with the hashtag Operation Good Grief. So, actively looking for those things was tricking me into prioritizing positivity yeah. and looking for the grain of good in a tough day. Um, and then I created a community around that. So, there were a lot of people who were going through grief that were now cheering me on. I had grief mentors, mm -hmm. and I think it's really important when you're going through a hard time to look for people who've come out the other side, yeah. whether they've also lost a parent or have gone through a similar struggle. You need grief mentors. And that's how I found them. I, I found them by sharing. I think that when we're vulnerable and we share, we get what we need. Yeah. Um, so that process I kept up for two years. And then ultimately, as I moved through the grief, you know, I didn't heal the hole in my heart, but I understood that life would have to go on and that I could smile yeah. and it was going to be okay. That actually morphed into what I now call finding the yay. And, and then now I create the yay list every day. Mm -hmm. And now it's looking for one awesome thing and maybe sometimes finding five mm -hmm. things that are exciting and, and make me jump up and down and then sharing those as well. Yeah. Um, and I challenge everybody to do that with the crappier you feel, the more important it is to look for one shiny, bright light. Mm, I love that. And like we said, you go in the episode into the science behind this and how we can actually rewire our brains, which are prone to negativity by nature, to creating these pathways of positivity. So make sure you go listen to the full episode over on the MaryMoransShow.com. We're going to link that below. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss any of this bonus content here on our channel. And make sure you head over to Instagram, Megan B. Murphy, M-E-A-G-H-A-N B. Murphy, to make sure you get all of that yay and positivity in your life from our amazing guest, Megan, and get this book in your hands, your fully charged life. We're going to link that below as well. Until next time, friends, this is The Mary Moran Show. Oh, 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 o